your majesties welcome back to the channel thank you so much for always returning trust you and yours are well and you're loving yourself and others like always many thanks to all of you for the support you give to the channel thank you so much to our channel members to our anonymous supporters to all of you my team subscribers you are loved celebrated and appreciated all right today i want to show to you how some of these bronzes sculptures of the african people images that are now seated in in british museums and other museums around the world how did these images get there so what is written there in history is that because the chiefs of the african people were in off mirrors salt and other things they decided to give out the valuable things they have in their communities and also give out their own people as exchange for these things that they are in awe of. This is what the European history tells you about the African people. So you now look at your chiefs and your leaders as stupid people who are in awe of mirrors. Okay? Africa that taught the world how to live. How can our chiefs be in awe of mirrors? So something is not adding up in those stories. Something is off. Because you can't say you are in awe of mirrors when you have all the minerals with you. The level of the knowledge our people had those times is even more than what we are having today. Because it's as if today they, they, we don't go after intellect anymore. We are just going after, you know, things that are not even important again. So these are the stories that fly around there. These are the stories you see in textbooks. These are the stories you hear in schools. But the truth is, there are other things that the Europeans did to get out these resources, to get out people, to get out artifacts, to get out all these sculptures that they didn't tell you, because it is not a good one. They wouldn't want you to look at them as bad people. Okay? I'm going to show you um, a movie. I didn't know that Nigerians were interested in things like this i was thinking they are only interested in acting some of the things they act in the Hollywood. but i was happy to see that nigeria could put this together because these are facts these are things these are a story they put it together as a movie as a film and it's not going viral as it should but i want to show you some part of it to clear your mind or like to give you some some knowledge about how most of the things in africa were taken away now, it is not even uh, going to speak good about the African people at all because the love of money, again, like they say, is a root of evil because because of money, some people were willing to sell ancient artifacts that belong to their ancestors because they heard the Europeans call about millions of dollars. They are happy to give out this artifact to them. In short, they go into these shrines, they go into these houses where these artifacts are kept. And they, are, they, they, they go to steal this artifact and sell to these Europeans. This is how some of these artifacts end up in British Museum. Now, for a white man to be willing to pay huge amount, when I say huge amount of dollars, just for something that might seem not important, then you should ask yourself as the African man. They tell you that those things are idols. They tell you that, oh, your ancestors were worshipping idols. This is not idols. They are not good. But they are willing to pay thousands of dollars for to just get one piece of that idol from you. And still, we don't want to understand this game as the African people. Something that is an idol. They tell you, the Bible say you should not keep anything that is the image of Kiniko Kiniko in your house. But this image of Kiniko Kiniko, they are coming to give you thousands of dollars. To get that image of Kiniko Kiniko. And still, our people will not wise up to understand the game that Europe is playing against us. All right, the story is just a rough one of how a Benin kingdom, an ancient Benin kingdom, um, their descendants, and um, someone told, a white man told somebody that they, if they get hold of any of the architectures, of the sculptors, of the so-called idol that they are interested in, and they are going to pay a huge amount of money for just a piece of whichever idols, I'm using that word idol because that's what they've told you that they're idols, uh, of whichever piece of those idols they could get, they are willing to pay huge amounts of money. 
all right and this message gradually spread and came to the ears of an in-law of one of the 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 BD chiefs okay and um, one of these copters are in their home in their possession because of course their father is a chief so they have one of these in their possession which is as old as over 200 years old it has been in the family possession for a long time and this guy was ready because he fell from grace he was so rich before something happened he lost all his money and then he saw this as a good business for him to get back um, to his feet again he persuaded the wife the wife agreed and went in and stole this artifact okay so stealing this artifact was the beginning of a problem for all those who partook in the stealing uh, those who were trying to steal this you know it 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 it, it developed into it gave birth to other greed because people got interested in it all. Oh, so this little thing was huge amount of money like this. People got interested. Some came to steal it from them. And those who stole it, um, calamities befell them. And at the end, it happened that um, that artifact that they took away and moved around with it returned itself back to where it was taken away from. That is to say, our ancestors did not just give away these things like that. The European device means cunning ways to take out these things from the continent of Africa. All right, let's, let's watch these short clips and then... Um... They work um, in a museum. I, I don't know that much my, my own God talks in and it is okay. Mm -hmm. People wish we did when they are gone, we will buy them. Yes, so no. Oh, I see. They want to send it to art collectors. Ah, ah. As we talk. You see, and uh, it must sell up to them in the art collector. And I need to for them for an audition. An audition, yes. <laughs> you mean auction? Ah. Mm. Why, why do you look like you? <laughs> <laughs> yes. You see, and they want to do that for, for auction. <laughs> That's cool. I hope whoever gets it treasures it more than my family has. Ah, yes, now. Nah. They will treasure they will, they will, they will, they will look after our way. Not here, not here. Not here. At this point, the artifact was already in their bedroom. Okay, this is the family, the young guy that wants to sell it, and that was the wife speaking to the, the the one that connects them with the buyer, right? So they dropped it by the wardrobe, and now he came in to pick the artifact. Lo and behold, it disappeared. Okay, he came in to pick it, and it was not there anymore. It's your family item, so who knows if you change your mind? Excuse me. Hello, babe. Guess what? I found it. <laughs> it's right here in our kitchen. And I don't know, I know how it got here. I just saw it now. I see the Okay, all right. I'm going to keep it in the room so when you get back, you pick it up. Right? Okay, babe. See you. Bye. So what they have been looking for? over the night for some days in the house had left the bedroom into the kitchen and so she discovering it in the kitchen she is so joyful and she called her husband that she found what they have been looking for and it has been in the kitchen all the way so how did it move from the bedroom to the kitchen so it took itself from the bedroom to the kitchen why because this thing is trying to preserve itself you understand it's trying to preserve itself from being sold to the Europeans. It has been with my family for generations to generations. My father actually told me that the ancestors hid this under a tree when the colonial masters stole the other artifacts. They preserved this one. No, no, you can't, you can't touch it. No, 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 no,
Oh, Jacob, please don't be ridiculous. Of course you can. This is nothing. This, I like. <laughs> this is something that probably throw away when my dad is done leading his life and it's gone. It's nothing. Ah, I feel. I feel this not to the woman. No, 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 please. I'll, I'll go with you. You don't have to be scared. You go with me? Yeah. Hey, I'm definitely. Ah, please. It's nothing. Hey. Yeah. Ah, wow. Okay. Now, can this way on that? Can I go my house? Then we'll come. You saw the effect through our window earlier today. Really? Yes. You see, the only thing this landlord's care about is to take money. You're right, Nick. Well, if you come to think of it, he should be fumigating this compound regularly. <laughs> Maybe you won't blame him. People will still rent this place, no matter how. So it happened that the landlord, the owner of the house, got to know about the situation and he got interested because the money was huge, right? The money, it was around 200 million naira. So um, the landlord got interested, who would not want such amount of money? So he sent his wife into the house, she did everything, she couldn't take it, no, she did everything and then she took, she couldn't take it out, yeah. She put it in the sack and when she went into her room, it was empty. They sent their son into the house to come steal it. The boy succeeded in putting it into the sack as well. He went home. They were all happy thinking that it was the artifact that was in the sack. Lo and behold, when they opened the sack, it was a, a huge stone that was inside. Okay. And at the end, that same landlord went mad because he was doing everything to still procure this, this same artifact. He went mad. And um, the other man who was to serve as their connection uh, the the, the middleman between them and the white man who was supposed to buy this artifact is that they're having some complication in his stomach all this was done so that um this thing is not sold and at the end of it all it disappeared again they did everything they became so confused became frustrated at the end of the whole story they went back to their father like to tell their father that this is what they did they were the ones that took the artifact they want to sell it and the father was shocked did you carry anything it's inside it's, it's there in the room and they went into the room where they took it from and they saw it seated there in the room your majesties they came and confessed that um, they wanted to sell it because they got someone a white man who want to buy it for a huge amount of money and they were carried away by the amounts they want to put their life together again and they felt like selling it so the chief their father told them that this has been <clears throat> something that has been passed down for generations for over 200 years now in the family line is a heritage for the family so there's no way it will go out and it will not come back wherever it goes to it will come back into the house so this is how some of the artifacts we still have in the motherland are still in the motherland if you leave the white man they would carry everything it's just that there are things that are just beyond them and also to tell you that our people some of our people were also the ones out of greed and love of money sold some of these artifacts if our ancestors never do this if they didn't have to do some of these things to preserve this artifact all that we have would have been in the european museum at this time and they will never want to return back what they have in their museum anymore it has become their properties something that they tell you to shun something that they tell you not to have in your house they are keeping it in their possession they're making a huge money out of it and they, again nobody knows what else they are doing with those things that they have there so they cut you from yourself they cut you from your source they tell you that what you believe in is a lie. You believe them, you do according to their bidding. And at the end, just to realize that they really wanted what you have. And they are trying everything to be you. But they deceive you to letting you believe that what you have and who you are is not important. I felt like showing this to you today, just a little story to maybe help us understand better how the whole thing went down and maybe we'll have some answers to the questions that we have been asking our ancestors have been doing everything to preserve what we have it's not like they just sat and fold their hand they didn't do anything and things just happen but how do we give our ancestors the opportunity 
How do we give our ancestors that, that room for them to speak to us? How do we give them that room? Or we are the ones that are even selling them off. You see? When it becomes your own selling you off, there's nothing you can do. Now, if, if when you watch that, that um, uh, film very well, discover that, the girl who was a direct descendant of this, of this, of, of, of this uh, particular property, they couldn't harm her. They were only playing with her, trying to just care her. But other people who never had a bloodline directly to them, look at what they went through. They passed through a lot of things. So when it becomes your own that is selling you, it becomes difficult for you to fight. I think that is what I'm trying to explain. So are we that kind of descendants that are making it difficult for our ancestors to exhibit or execute their plans? Or we are that kind of descendants that are aiding our ancestors to, you know, do what they need to do, what they ought to do in terms of protecting us and in terms of doing what they should do. Anyway, leave your thoughts and opinion there at the section. And I'll see you in my next one. Until then, love yourself, love others. Stay safe, stay positive, always, Majesties. Bye for now.